What do we got on Scorch? He's back. He's back and better than ever. Scorch PFG TV. I don't know where I have a good picture of Scorch up on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Scorch? Uh, we, of course, Scorch, we worked with him way back when up in Boston. And uh, he's since gone on to do his own um, TV show. Well, he's a, it's a paid channel, and he pays for an nope. infomercial. He's a media mogul, sir. Oh, really? He's a media mogul. I'm and, actually, how did I miss that? I think he's on a different channel now that's less people. He's not on the My Channel anymore. That he was on what? the My Network in New Wait, Hampshire. Wait, he's not on My Network anymore? No. But that was his, like, he had how many networks? Well, how many affiliates? That's the problem. Like, now he's saying he's on a major, like, bef he's getting caught up in his lies because he has to lie about the new network. Let's bring everyone up to speed, though. So he does a local show in New Hampshire, a little morning mm -hmm. show, and now yeah. he decided he needs to be on TV as well. Yeah. So he, what, got a uh, public access show? Public access. He started show. with a public access show, yeah. But yeah. what happened when he was in a bar? Yeah, well, that, didn't he start the show from the bar? That was once? the public access show. Right. When he was in the bar. Right. That was the TV show in a bar. Yeah. In a bar. And then last we left the people with the PFG TV, he was in a really nice TV studio. Right. He started moving up the ranks of TV studios nice. and then up to my network. And then he kind of disappeared. Yeah. Remember, the last time we played a clip, it was when he said, I got something for those two people in New York, meaning you guys. Mm hmm. Then he disappeared for a while. Oh, God. What happened right. to him? Now he came back, except he's not in a TV studio anymore. Well, what happened to the TV studio? I don't know, but now he's back. <laughs> he's in a bar. <laughs> but he's back. All right, wait. He's back in the bar. <laughs> yeah, he's in he's a bar. And he's not on the Mind TV network anymore? No, he's on. What happened there? Is he on the web now only? He, he is definitely on the web, and he appears to be on something called uh, Retro TV. Retro, What's TV? retro TV. I don't know, but I looked up the website and they play like old TV shows. All it right. seems like they take public access channels and they put old TV shows on them because they because no one's buying. Nobody's the time. watching it. Yeah. So is this a good move for him going back to the bar? Mm, no, well, I don't think see, so. But but I bet he spins it in a, a way where it's the best thing ever. He does have his opinions on it, yeah. I mean, he, he, he seems to prefer it there, but I wouldn't think career-wise it makes a lot of sense. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right. Can we roll uh, this episode up on Apple TV just so we have a visual? It doesn't have, it doesn't have to match up with the audio. Uh, let's see. It will, though. See. Awful on both counts. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Uh, Scorch. PFG TV. Jessica introduces what's coming up tonight on PFG TV. All right. Live from the PFG's television center at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro. The television wow. center. Yeah. The television wow. television center at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, wherever he goes, he says, what happened was, it's like a restaurant pub. <laughs> yeah. And there's a wall with a fireplace against it. And normally there'd be tables lined up for people to eat there. But instead, they cleared out like four tables. You know what? When you fucking have like a, a bar grill, a pub restaurant, fucking television studio has never been a part. No, of bar of, of bar is, pub is the is the fire at least real behind him? Oh my I'm god! At the visual. The now. fire does appear to be a real fire. And when is he going to get a laptop from this century? He looks like a crazy evangelist. <laughs> well, if you <laughs> he notice, does. he's back to using like the little. Uh, Footstool for a table. Wait, he's sitting at a footstool in front of a yeah. fire. Oh my god, what happened to the TV studio? And why the horrible couch? What happened to the well, good couch? And the graphics have? all behind him. Right. Nick, Nick Carpinelli, the guy on the couch, now appears to be the guy on the wicker love seat. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> that's outdoor patio furniture. All right, let's why is there a fire behind him? <laughs> I don't know. What is he doing? He's dressed like fucking crazy Eddie. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Live from the PFG's television center at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro, it's Scorch's PFG TV, presented by the New England Subaru dealers. I'm Jessica, and tonight joining Scorch in the living room is Nivea from Loca Photo, doing a sponsor spotlight. We'll talk to pro wrestling historian and show regular Sheldon Goldberg. Plus, we'll do weird news, Sheldon the appetizer, Goldberg. info on how you can be on the show, and our special musical guests on the Auburn Pit stage, it's the Brooklyns. Now, give it up. Here's Scorch. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Welcome once again to another fabulous episode of Scorch's BFG TV. Let us go to the living room. Out of here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now, you hear the applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that, I'm a little suspect of. Yeah, that, that's being piped in. Scorch has this uh, photographer that he had on the show. He let the photographer take pictures. He doesn't go to... He learned from us, I think, when we pointed out that there were only a very few people at his old bar shows. Yes. He stopped doing audience shots. However, the photographer took a picture of the audience, and now through the magic of Apple TV. Oh, we'll, we'll get to it. I Look share with that. you. Oh, my God. See, How come could, it sounded like... Wow, they sound like there were hundreds of people uh, there. Yeah. You but, could see Scorch right there in the corner by the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I'm going to yeah. count for everybody. Two, no. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten people. You by the see. way, the people sitting at the bar, that's the band that's performing later. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so there are literally six, six people there, there to see Scorch. <laughs> yeah. And he six made it people. sound like there are hundreds. Can we hear the you applause hear, again? I got to hear the applause again. Now that we know there are... Six people there. <laughs> what happened to this episode of Scorch's BFG TV? Let us go to the living room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't he have a following where they would no. show up for this? No, he doesn't. No. Oh, this is depressing. He's in Manch Vegas. I mean, I there's. I want to do his show. Although he did uh, announce. We, I said that. Let, I would road trip in a second to do this. He did announce that if you uh, tell people, if you tell the restaurant in advance that you're going to the PFG taping, uh, you'll get a free appetizer while you watch the show. That's oh, not bad. Oh, boy. What kind of appetizers? I mean, probably, you know, definitely mozzarella steak, something yeah. like that. What about uh, some of that calamar? Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, this is New Hampshire. This is. Manch Vegas, after all. And what happens in uh, Manch Vegas? Stays in Manch Vegas. Exactly. That's right. Especially broadcasts. Yeah, <laughs> it should. Would you do, you would do BFG TV? In a second. Because <laughs> he does have comedians I, on from time to time. In a oh, second. I would, do, I would do road trip just area, to yeah. do this. Let's, uh, Scorch talks about the PFG TV network, and Scorch and Nick do a little two-man comedy. A uh, little <laughs> two-man back and forth. Oh, good. man, welcome yeah, to Scorch's is. PFG TV, to all of the viewers in the whole PFG TV network. See, we can't even say this station or this station anymore because we're... I love that he has no <laughs> he, idea that this is not working. He he's not faking this. this. No, in his not. mind, he is as big as fucking Conan O'Brien and fucking happening. and Leto and the rest of them. And he's like, look... This is too big for me to even name right. the affiliates anymore. Living the dream. We're they all just, said it wouldn't happen. We're just nationwide. Uh, this my guy, own late night TV show. This guy wants to explain retro TV just so we have uh, the, the full picture. Uh, Vinny. Hello, boys. What's up? Uh, basically, when all of the TV channels went digital, they got extra channels. They have the regular channel, and then they got like an extra channel because they could fit more stuff into the bandwidth. And Retro TV and a couple of other companies offer shows literally just to fill that channel. So the only way um, you can actually get Retro TV is if you don't have a cable box and if you have a converter for the rabbit ears, correct? Well, there's a handful of uh, there's a handful of cable companies that will carry like one or two of them. My local one carries Retro TV for my local channel, but yeah, pretty much. You have to not have cable. To not get this you can't yeah. get this with cable. <laughs> no, you have to have like the converter Those, box for the rabbit ears. Oh right. my! The digital God. converter. <laughs> it gets worse for your rabbit ears. So technically, he's on more markets, but the only way you can get it is if you don't have cable. Okay, so that's it right there. RTV. You'd have to disconnect your cable to right. receive the program and it hook gets it up. Worse. Like a lot of people would say. Most 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 of the time you'd say I have to get cable in order to get this, but you'd actually have to take it away <laughs> in order to get this show. Well, it's worth it. It's it's PFG TV. Can FiOS get it? No, 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 no. You you're all mixed up. You'd have to you'd have to have the FiOS guy come in and actually take out the FiOS <laughs> and then replace it with nothing. <laughs> and then you could get it. I'm sorry. I said there's a remote chance you might have one or two. I'm I'm looking at the uh the affiliate list for <laughs> Retro TV. Yeah. Guys, there's we're in luck. There wow. is an affiliate. Uh, there's an affiliate for our area. Really? It's, Thank God. Yes, it's WKOB DT. Oh, I watched that anyway. Yeah, it's RF Channel Two, <laughs> Virtual <laughs> Virtual Channel Forty Two, or Digital Channel Forty Three Point One. But you have to disconnect. I your don't know. Cable. What you'd have to. I need a Phillips head screwdriver. You'd have to have a TV that gets channel forty three point one. And, and <laughs> it's a radio. <laughs> and how do I get RF Channel Two? Yeah, you'd have to have a switch. Just when you thought it couldn't get worse. In so, order to get RTV, 
you need to go out oh. and buy a, a roll of official RTV tinfoil to wrap around your antenna. What? Nice. what you broke up. Yeah, your phone you broke stinks. up, dude. What? All right, I'll try another joke. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try one first? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> buy another. You. <laughs> yeah, you tell any more jokes, you're going to get the Stinkaroo Trophy. You can always have to <laughs> God, we got to know when he does oh, these tapings, shit. so maybe some of our listeners can Tuesday. check it out. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. At where? They have, they have a Mike's bar. All right, Vinny. All right, Vinny. Thank <laughs> you. I'm attempting to find this, the, the lineup, by like the actual program. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, look at it. It's paid. <laughs> it's a lot of paid programs. <laughs> it's just the whole fucking schedule What's that says what, when paid is this programming. Show supposed to be on? Like, what it, day? There is no listing for when it's actually on television anymore. Because it says paid programming. If you go to pfg-tv.com, you can figure out when the tapings are, so you can head down with your loved ones, get a free app. All right. Why is there well, a fucking uh, uh, dash in it? It couldn't just be PFG-TV. No, 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 no. It, that's probably taken by the other PFG-TV. I love the other shows name. that are on. Uh, Marcus Welby, I Spy, <laughs> The Bold Ones, Emergency, Adam 12, Dragnet, The Incredible Hulk, Knight Rider, uh, 18, Magnum P.I., Simon and Simon, and The Rockford Files. Th this is a, this is a paper torn from a 1976 TV guy. What sure. channel is this on Cablevision? It's the channel. Oh, I don't think Cablevision or Fios uh, carries uh, this channel. You mean I'd have to disconnect my cable? This is the shit that, like, fucking TV Land said, ugh, yeah. we ain't even playing this <laughs> no, shit. No, thank you. Nobody would Adam watch Adam 12, it. Marcus Welby, MD. leave it to be, Daniel Boone, <laughs> Peter Gunn, Robin Hood, the TV show from fucking forever ago. Black Sheep Squadron. Uh, Baba Black Sheep was good, but Black Sheep Squadron wasn't. That's what happens when you prank call a sheep. <laughs> You go, Bubba Black Sheep. <laughs> Listen, I think we've given Scorch enough free plugs. All right, let's get, oh, God let's get into this. Let's, all right, here, here's, another, here's another clip from, from PFG TV with Scorch, uh, our old pal. Oh, man, welcome to Scorch's PFG TV, to all of the viewers in the whole PFG TV network. See, we can't even say this station or this this station no. anymore because we're growing each and every week. So now <laughs> no. it is just the Scorch's PFG TV network. Yeah! Oh, it's recorded the applause. Yeah. My God, what an interesting, uh, interesting week, everybody. I, I talked to Nick a little while ago because everybody at the radio station's getting all nauseous and sick. I was out for a few days. And Why was he Brock screening was this program? <laughs> <laughs> I too. I'm getting flimmy. <laughs> I am getting flimmy. <laughs> it's all because of you guys, man. And Nick, well, we haven't made out though in a long time, so no, you can't we all use the same that. microphone. And I, I want to address the uh, the theft that went on here at Michael's Pub over the last week. Well, Apparently, somebody uh, broke in that? and stole the freaking phone. Stole, stole the audience. <laughs> stole the crowd. Someone stole the audience. Someone stole any dignity that was in the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? It's not good. Well, the last week, well, apparently that? somebody broke in and stole the freaking flat screen. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, our, uh, yeah. Just so the people know, if you took our monitor from behind us, you scumbags, we need it back, please. If you Someone return it, there'll it. be no questions asked whatsoever. Well, well, the owner he sold it to it, yeah. fucking pay the electric bill. Or Listen, something. but wait, before you start it again, go oh. back a little because that was a setup for a joke. Oh, oh and I don't. Shit. I mean, this oh, is the two-man no. comedy. Oh, so, all right. Right. Our monitor from behind us, you scumbags. We need it back, please. If you return it, there will be no questions asked whatsoever. Well, we'll ask a few questions. <laughs> well, you're going to ask if they've... <laughs> Come on. Let's be honest. But I'm going to ask, like, you know, what the hell? Man? Why'd you take my TV, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. How do you... How do you have nothing planned? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? Why'd you take my TV? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, know what I mean. It's like someone should sit him down and go, look, I know that you think that you're going to mention a concept and something funny is going to show up. Yeah. But uh, it's been proven that that's not going to happen. Think before you talk. Write a few thoughts down. Know what I mean? Cre create Me. a funny question. Me. Something. Well, there's going to be some questions asked. Okay. Balls in your court. 
<laughs> some guys. Hey, are, where's my TV? Some guys are improv guys. Like they just yeah, prefer yeah, to kind of go right, out there and just kind of <laughs> wing it. And they, you know. You tell them, Sam. Jesus Christ. That's where Scorch and Nick are just kind of an improv pair. I love, Criminy. I love your loyalty to this guy that gave you your first break. Yeah. yeah. The thing about That's Scorch terrific. is everything I know about radio I learned from Scorch. That's right. Oh, cool. Everything. And this is how you pay him back. Uh, weird news begins. Weird news. A bad edit dun, cuts dun, off dun, the dun, laugh track. Dun, 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 dun. You know weird news. Yes, yeah, I mean, whoever's editing Scorch's program. And by the way, I believe that the uh, applause oh, no. and stuff, yeah. it's not done with a sound machine in how it's They're done edited in later yeah in post right um and so now in weird news i guess i had to cut for time or maybe they were awkward in it because they were oh. they just cut in between every joke and so they added a laugh track and then cut it off so they could st- I don't all, right, know. all right let's listen to this we have a whole busy show today so why don't we get into things with our very first segment that we call weird news okay it is very strange Yeah. Newport Beach, California, an off-duty police officer was arrested after he allegedly showed up to a massage parlor wearing his badge and gun and loudly demanding a, and I quote, frontal massage. <laughs> When the girls in the parlor... Ref- <laughs> What is he doing? Was he doing a Letterman laugh there? Like a hee <laughs> I just love Jimmy's face. Actually, I believe Scorch started doing that on the air before. Before Letterman. Yes. Oh, okay. I should have known I mean, that. I mean, him and Dave borrow from each other. You know, they kind they of really throw bits do. back and forth. You can barely tell the difference between shows. You know, guys, uh, P.E.K. 28 on Twitter is right. Scorch is blowing up. You guys are just jealous of his 155 Twitter followers. That you is true. You see his audience? Right, Some man. of them showed up. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Logan Photo Studios, yes. Is that his mom that showed up for the taping? Uh, maybe. She does live in the area. Girls in the parlor refused to give it to him. Uh, he destroyed some furniture, and then he stormed off in his car, uh, his police car, <laughs> which is stupid move number two. Uh, and how did he get caught? A, because he was in his police car. And remember I said he was wearing a uh, his gun in his badge? Yes. That's all he had on. <laughs> This guy had his badge pinned to his chest, and he had his gun around his waist. Took me to Illinois. No, he didn't. Did you hear the crowd start laughing, though? <laughs> it's fucking mind-boggling. Hey, 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 <laughs> yes, that's why real, we do this. This, this is, it's either the worst show I've ever heard or the greatest thing ever brought to a television screen I that no one can get. <laughs> no, it's either the worst thing anyone's ever done or whatever would be one level below <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> can we hear that laugh again? Weird news! <laughs> yeah, let me hear the, the, his did joke. It, did it, did it. Into the laugh, yeah, that song is great. Into Bryce the laugh, he was wearing a uh, his gun in his badge. Yes, that's all he had on. <laughs> This guy had his badge pinned to his chest, and he had his gun around his waist. Took me to Illinois. It's the Rupert Pupkin f- fucking laughing, it's like getting... when he's down in his basement. Mm-hmm. The problem is that the PFG TV seems to be getting more and more into Rupert Pumpkin area. Yeah, like, you think it started there and then kind of. No, now with this, th- those are canned laughs from like an old 50s sitcom. But was he going for a joke? Marcus yes. Welby. With the badge? Something. Yes, he was. All he had was a badge. I believe he, I believe oh, he yeah, made that up. Joke. That was his humorous that's anecdote. That's not the story. <laughs> he made that noise. <laughs> Did you hear that? Like like the laugh, like to lead everybody along. <laughs> exactly. And you also have to realize that he is pausing after his jokes because he knows he's going to add a laugh track later. Oh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's hear that just so we can get... I, I'm fascinated with the uh, editing process. He's wearing a, uh, his gun in his badge. Yes. That's all he had on. <laughs> This guy had his badge pinned to his chest, and he had his gun around his waist. Took me to Illinois. <laughs> you hear like an... Ah, some yeah. girl screaming. Oh, She's shit. laughing so hard in but the background. They had to cut it quick to get to the next story. Yeah, yeah, but they, they all shut up real, real fast. Any cancer kids this week? Not this week. No. You mean a cancer kid that he uh, said was a growth on his back? Yeah. Yeah. Real nice, Scorch. The greatest Scorch line ever. <laughs> My name is Rupert Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, more weird news. Finally, in Middleton, Massachusetts, a robber had an ironic end to a recent burglary. This is a great story. 23-year-old Eric Holman allegedly tried to rob the J.C. Grill and Convenience Store. What uh, Eric, if you're watching this show... You are an idiot! <laughs> 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 
He tried to leave the store. This 55-year-old guy oh tripped my God. him with <laughs> his wooden leg, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he held the guy down on the ground till the cops arrived. Uh, it's funny thing. The older the guy had a very good sense of humor about everything. When the cops showed up, they said, what are you laughing at? And he said, now this guy, just like me, doesn't have a leg to stand on. So there you go. And that, my friends, is today's installment of Weird News. Thank you very much. I like how they they, they laughed midway through. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. left the setup. Yeah, the, the you setup. are the you are an idiot song. Well, they were laughing at the you are an idiot song, which is yeah, a yeah. scorch favorite. You have, have any idea how often he played that song on the radio? Sam, really, a it's lot. A, it's All a staple. Time. He is loves it it. a benchmark. It's a benchmark. <laughs> it's a scorch it. benchmark. The the way that the audience like just started cracking up at right at the end of that song. Right. Not as it was playing. And it was also he knew in his head. Like I'm sure he wrote that he's going to add that in post. Because yeah. he looked at the camera and it was ready immediately for the you are the you are an idiot. Right, song. right. And then boom, the audience picks up. Good thing there's two tracks for sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> so now does he have the radio show? Oh yeah, he's rocking afternoons in Manchester. What time is he doing? <laughs> Three to seven. What does he do? Well, he does a brain cell stimulator. <laughs> what the which I again, can't, I can't take anything seriously. That uh, it's another, up. it's another benchmark, okay. which he's been Fantastic. doing since the morning days in Syracuse. Yeah, mornings in Syracuse. So, um, so he's been moving up in the radio world. Well, I mean, yeah, Sy Syracuse, like, New Hampshire. Weird news. Technically, down. <laughs> I got out of my head. And yeah. plus, he went from mornings to afternoon. Like you guys, what, you guys are afternoons and then mornings. He did the reverse and went slightly lower. In terms of markets, Steven S. from Bayshore makes a very valid okay. point ah. on the instant feedback. Yes, we still have the instant feedback. Uh, hey, Ope, how can you mock? Scorch's show is the lead in for Nanny and the Professor. <laughs> 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 Nanny and the Professor. <laughs> Oh, Steve's in a great mood today. I don't know why, but Steve S. from, um, from Bayshore, just in a great, great mood today. It must be a special day. He you wrote, know what I mean? <laughs> he wrote that with a boner. Oh, of course he did. He's got a boner all day yes, today. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, Scorch and Nick interrupt the sponsor break for a little more improv comedy. Oh. Two-man comedy. I Ooh. love the way they work off of each other. Because, you know, the sponsor break is when Scorch, because... At Scor Scorch doesn't take commercial breaks because his sponsors are like part of the family. Right, so it's not a commercial break. No, and yeah. it's also because it's paid programming, so there wouldn't be any commercial breaks. Here Why come, would there be? It couldn't be. Here comes the comedy in three, two, <laughs> a one. I love it is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Feel free to cheer. <laughs> Listen to the I have clapping. an itch tonight. Is it a I constant have, itch? I have an itchy eyebrow. What does so, that mean? Uh, dry skin. You need some kind of solve. Solve? Did yeah. you say solve? I said solve. I'm talking bloomers. You asked me how old I am, and you said solve? All right. I meant and to is, say, and I the meant word to say pain reducing cream. Isn't the word solve? Yeah, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> curve, curve, whatever. Solve. Hey, Granny, you got some of that solve? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. We're doing a sponsor break. Sorry. Sorry, paying sponsors. Auburn Pitts. Let's hear it for Auburn Pitts. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. It's, it's just, this is something, this is like watching Eraserhead. It really is. I can't quite yes, wrap my mind around If Eraser was dick. <laughs> <laughs> I... I can't get uh, over the fact that he has no fucking clue that none of this is working. And what's great is that, no, like, no. what is the, that's the brilliance of this whole thing. This thing has no. become more and more of a scam, because he does less and less stuff that's associated with actual show content, and more and more that's just sponsored. Yeah. Wow. Should we take the Mob Wives? Yeah. In 20 minutes? Yeah. All right, show did fucking... Two and a half million people last night. I, think. I didn't watch the show though. So I didn't either. I but feel... is this Sammy the Bull's daughter? Yeah. I All I heard was right, uh, we'll do that a it's very yeah, people are very some Staten Islanders were very insulted. Okay, we'll figure something very out. Insulted we're not prepared to have show. the mob wives in, but we'll, yeah, we'll do something. We'll take them and we'll be nice to them. Yeah, the yeah, show's though. big, so show them Apple TV. Did big numbers yeah. with VH1. I'm a load of shit. Fucking yeah. picture. <laughs> that tell Ron we'll do the mob wives. We'll finish the show up with those uh, those bruds. Yeah, but right now, Scorch, PFG TV. Scorch interviews someone from uh, Loca Photo. Yeah, it's a, it's a Loca Loca Photo 
Luca photo. photo. Oh, that, that's the who took this picture uh, that we're looking at on Apple TV of uh, his uh, studio audience. <laughs> Six per his studio slash pub audience. Right. Yeah, she's a a sponsor. And I guess she paid enough to get an interview on the show. And, How the fuck? But the reason I pulled this is not because it's not an interesting clip, but you have to listen closely because you can hear the few people in the bar just milling about and talking. Well, why aren't they the, uh, paying attention and ready to applaud so loudly like they have been in, in the past? And the visual that goes along with this is Scorch. For some reason, they left the full body shot of Scorch on as opposed to switching to a different camera angle. And you can see his hand waving people saying, like, stop, stop talking, stop talking. We can <laughs> no idiot talking. fucking way. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? You know what? That's though? fantastic. I went to a Jimmy Fallon taping once, and then we were fortunate enough to be on the show. And and Jimmy does the same stuff. Does he? Yeah, man. I mean, people are talking to the audience, and you see him like trying to hush the people down. Does he do it in a pub <laughs> with exactly. six people in it, with or six... is it when Lauren Michaels is getting him De Niro? Who's about <laughs> yeah. to talk? Is it when Jimmy's interviewing the Love fucking the lady photo. who takes the pictures? All I'm saying is, not only Scorch this happens to him. How much Scorch is the, uh, the big night again? Uh, Scorch the innovator. How much did De Niro nice. have to pay for his sponsor break? Yes, exactly. his sponsor break. What did what did Scorch do? Put it looks. We're looking for somebody with a clit and a Polaroid camera. <laughs> Good one. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about Loca Photo because uh, yeah. I love yeah. as we said before. I love what you do. You are you you you've taken for photography and you've made just everything you touch uh, seems to make like beautiful just beautiful work what uh, why photography how long like what brought you into the world <laughs> oh my god he can't even fucking you can't what is he doing he's stumbling there's, there's, she's there's, a photographer there's no one hey. that can really make photography better what it, photography it's just become it, its own thing at this point we all have phones that just take great pictures now but he's not asking Annie Leibovitz a question about uh, shooting uh, the uh, queen uh, without her fucking hat right <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ you stammering idiot some fucking lady who's probably why, is probably Dolores why Let's, the uh, great uh, the, the uh, you take a picture of the work the yeah. blah 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 everything you touch you make blah, Beautiful. Why the uh, if it's a pick mob, I'm starstruck. <laughs> so are we gonna yeah, see him wave off? I can't yeah. believe I'm talking to you. It's just amazing. You're the like number one photography All girl right. in Manchester. He talks like fucking Rocky too when he was doing the fucking read <laughs> for the commercials. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I can't okay. Now what watch, a big get for watch the show. His right hand. Okay. Look at Penny Marshall. He's interviewing. Uh, See, look at the, no, look at the microphone Marshall too. On my couch, but uh, it's not because she. Uh, <laughs> she just what the fuck? Can we hear that question again? Uh, yeah. Seems to make like beautiful, just beautiful work. What? Uh, why photography? How long? Like, what brought you into the world of photography? Well, um, as I was a little girl, I always enjoy going. You know, whenever I go to my aunt's house, I would always grab the album, and it was such a thrill to go through the pictures, and I really enjoy it. Holy it's one of the, shit. Uh, did you hear the voice? It's one of the Mondo, yeah, yeah. Mondo topless girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But what a horrible question and, 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 and remarkably an even worse answer. Yeah. I, I'd look, like look, look, look. to go through my... <laughs> Oh, my, he's starting away. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, 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 keep, keep, hey, keep quiet. Me, put me down. This is my, keep uh, quiet in the corner. This is my exclusive camera. interview with the, uh, the camera girl. Uh, keep my, it quiet. My aunt's photo album. <laughs> I, would, I grabbed her album. When As they a fled. little girl, my uncle would take the photos of me <laughs> without any of my uh, clothes on. And took look at my aunt's photo album, and we saw when everybody was fleeing the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got on this? I want to hear this whole interview now. Oh god! Because like, all they're the, doing the, is talking about photography. The thing about PFG TV right is there. Sure, like on, a, on my Kodak 110 with the flash bar. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a nostalgia show someday. <laughs> uh, what Ooh. makes what what makes a good photographer? Well, um, equipment does right. Well, hold this and tell equipment me. Equipment to what shotgun. Is this your regular <laughs> point shoot camera? Well, no, but uh, I like it because I can see myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the well, audience. Well, you have to have. The <laughs> yeah, that's the real audience. <laughs> Wow, that was a little extreme. Please do not develop any Pause of those and surprises still away. Yeah, yeah. 
What is going on? Listen. Nick just said, please do not develop any of those. As if he was holding a film camera. A film camera, first of all. Sorry, I didn't mean Secondly, to step on Nick's gem. <laughs> Secondly, he didn't even take pictures. He was going with his mouth. And the last one he did, he pointed toward his crotch. Where was the guffaws, the laughter from the audience that was laughing at everything earlier? This was more of a subtle, subtle humor type of deal. Uh, Can oh I say, God. honestly, <laughs> I, that it could be the worst clip I've ever seen on television. <laughs> just that one little bit? <laughs> it was just devoid of anything. Can we please play that again? I'm begging. Yeah, yeah. I gotta hear that. It was so... I like it because I can see myself. She, Here's a good gives him I really the camera. enjoy it. So, he plays with um, it. seven to eight years ago, I started doing some photography for my husband. It's he was a in a shit. band. And um, I was just doing freebies at a time, and I upgraded gears, and I'm pretty uh, geared up right now. So. Nice. Good for you. Yeah. Now, here's a good question, okay? Honestly, Finally, think right. about this. Uh -oh. What makes... You know what makes a photographer a photographer? Because honestly, I couldn't take even. Wait, this? I couldn't take that. That's a good question. You oh promised. Question. <laughs> we got ripped what off. What makes a photographer a photographer? You chipped us. I'm a good what question. What makes a mechanic a mechanic? Well, well by it, the way, you guys are prepared for the mob wives. Yeah. Maybe oh, yeah. when they come in. So what makes a mob wife a mob wife? A mob wife. Mm -hmm. A mob wife. The mm -hmm. fuck? What makes a photographer? I don't know. When you, when you look at something and you see it, that makes you have eyes. Yeah, if you have a yeah, camera, you're a photographer. Yeah. And she's not a good photographer. She's stuck in Manchester. That's not where the good photographers are hanging no. out. She's so good that she's she's doing gigs for sports. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Go nah, back. Yeah, yeah, slightly, yeah. tiny little audience. It's tough because a little is a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just Kodak 110 with the flash oh, bar. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do a nostalgia show someday. <laughs> uh, what makes what what makes a good photographer? Well, um, equipment does, right? Well, hold this and tell me. What do you think? Is this your regular point and shoot camera? Well, no, but uh, I like it because I can see myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you have to have the. <laughs> Wow, that was a little extreme. Please do not develop any of those. I'm surprised it's still in one Delete. piece. <laughs> the, 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 like, I, I, you know what? I'm going to answer your question for oh, holy shit. I think it's the eye. I think it's the eye has everything to do with it. The eye definitely And the camera has hasn't turned towards hand. him at all. A steady hand. No. But you also have to know what is good subject matter, right? You have to Next know your, That's the eye. Your, your thing. I mean, I do my, my work a steady online. Hand. I, I keep myself uh, in touch it's with insightful. the world. And, but I have to upgrade gears every well, once in a while, in so we do. It's like RBI I mean, right this now. This is a $2,500. <laughs> <laughs> right. As Dude. long as I like, I was like, yeah, with a steady hand. Yeah. You don't want shaky pictures, blurry. <laughs> the best is all you see is Nick's fucking dumb <laughs> hush puppy sticking in. <laughs> they refuse to put him in the shot. No. Scorch terrible. probably requested that Nick not be in the what, shot. What all they had to do is move the camera over uh, because there's, there's no too eat. much room uh, uh, yeah. to the left of Scorch that has nothing in frame. No, no. I, I want to be, uh, it's a solo one on one interview. I, I'd rather not have uh, Nick in the shot. <laughs> I want the two shot. Well, all right, well, you can put his shoulder in. She's not riveting. Oh, no. wow. She, she looks like the bassist from the way out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what makes a photographer a photographer? And she said, look, it's a camera. You look, a and camera. And she handed him a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steady hand, I would say. So a finger so you can press the button? Yeah. Does that make it? Need a flash. Need it dark. Need a flash <laughs> if it's dark out. I know all the things about photography. Tripod. <laughs> tripod for those... Let's see uh, where you need a, a tripod. Steady hand or a tripod. <laughs> we got a few more clips before the mob wives come in. So uh, we got Scorch talking about how great his new venue is, which is this crappy bar. Yeah, you know, you said that he always tends to look on the positive. Oh, boy, does he. he we can learn from Scorch as I far as looking at the positive. I think oh, yeah. Scorch is one of those guys who practices the secret and power positive thinking uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that yeah, and yeah, puts yeah. himself where he wants. He visualized himself in this pub. Oh, yeah. You're a right. bad, if something bad happens, he doesn't even see it that way. Nothing bad's ever happened. Around. It's good. Uh, before we get into our next segment, I want to talk about where we taped the show now. This is the living room. We felt so genericized, if you can use that word. Everything was so generic and is sterile. It? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Everything was so, you know what I mean? I mean, the TV studios were nice, mind you. I'm not going to say the TV studios weren't nice. But you know what? We came into this place. We taped at Michael's Pub. It's on uh, 113 in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. Tingsboro. It's 147 Frost uh, Road. Television City. Uh, Michael's yeah. Pub actually. 
actually set aside a special a place just for us. Burbank. And this is what we call it's 3A. Excuse it's 3A, me. Excuse me. My bad. My bad. See, it's a bar. I'm allowed to drink when I tape the show now. Uh, but. <laughs> What's on 113 then? Am I taping another show there? No, no, no. 113 God, please, no. is probably that bar you don't remember DJing at. Oh, know. okay. <laughs> Michael's Pub gave us this beautiful living room. And even in the middle of the summer when the fire is going and I'm schwitzing like a, an SOB, uh, you know what? It's still going to be a beautiful place. <laughs> They didn't give him a living room. It's, they just moved some tables. It's not a living room. <laughs> He's facing it's a the bar. bar. <laughs> it's a bar. There are probably normally just tables there yes. and, and, and chairs. Let me put up the picture again. And, and, and like, there's a bar six feet from his face. Oh God, it's just, and they gave him this beautiful living room. It's Look. The, that's the most. There's amazing. no living room there. It's got a fireplace. You can see they just pushed some tables aside. Yeah. 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 Boy, he showed us how to spin. Uh, wow. Scorch introduces a new segment, yeah. the app. It ties The appetizer. By the way, diddly diddly dun dun. Most, most people would think, oh, maybe he's going to be talking about different iPhone apps. Right. He just talks about his app. Oh, the in one this that segment. has, what, 500,000? Well, you want to talk about a spin? Oh, okay. There's been a few more downloads since oh, we last night. Oh, good. And God, we couldn't I find any. We count. couldn't find any proof that anyone has actually ever downloaded. This no, app. Yes. Well, there is proof that at least three Anthony Sam Travis have right. downloaded. Three people have downloaded uh, his app. Now, uh, you know what I want to do? I want to do this segment that we call the app. The Tizer. Because Scorch's PFG DB, we've made Whoa, it into the future. We have a phone app now that, as of this taping of this show, has been downloaded 741,232 times. <laughs> huh? What? He's got the exact number. Come on. Over 700,000 times. But he's got the exact, like, to, to the two. To the number. Holy yeah. Shit. Not Not to the ten, not to the hundred, to the single number. He yeah, just like got the statistics before they went to shoot. One more person downloaded it right before they went on air, and he's like, well, to put it, make, come on, two. make that a two. It'll be accurate. Turn it into a two. Now, on the appetizer, we've got a lot of cool things. For instance, we have the show. We you know, Danny. I have a question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a question. <laughs> your app should be accurate to your Twitter at the very well, I mean, least. It should be, what do you mean? You should be able to see some metrics. Yeah, of <laughs> course. Right, right, right. He's the numbers himself. don't lie. Yeah, let's How see. many followers does he have? Uh, Scorch, and this is at Scorch. Well, who's going to get more now? So, uh, at Scorch PFG. Pretty fucking good. <laughs> He's got about 155 followers. All right. So about or exactly? Exactly 155 oh. followers. So okay. 155 followers uh -huh. on Twitter, Twitter. yet 700,000 plus. Well, he's not a Twitter guy. He's a TV downloads. app guy. That is true. He's too busy taping these shows to be on All Twitter. All right. Fair he's enough. He's like an app guy. We have the weekly show that we tape, and you see it. Uh, it's on the appetizer. Now, uh, it's on the app itself, I mean. Now, if you if you already have the app, uh, erase it. everyone does. Redownload it and re Register, what? because now we have uh, alerts, and you can actually get alerts, so we'll be telling you certain things. For instance, we'll say for the next five people that come out to the TV tape, we're going to give you a free dinner at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro, something like that, you know what I mean? Tingsboro. Uh, uh, Tingsboro, <laughs> yeah. Right. You get a free app at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro, know what I mean? He is amazing. Well, we have two more clips, but we have Mob Wives. What do we do? Two Mob Wives, wow. then go back to the clips. Or you could just... Do the two clips, then they'll come in, and boom. What an hour. And boom. Scorch uh, talks about the app in the pub crawl. The scam is made clear. What do you mean the scam is made clear? Well, you know how the pub, you know how Scorch always has an ulterior motive? Yeah. And the ulterior motive is usually to scam people out of some cash and yeah. not give any to Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming. But it's pretty safe assumption. You've seen it before. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, he lets the cat out of the bag. The pub crawl is not a is not a charity thing now that it's associated with the app. Uh, also on the app now, we've got the uh, we've got a fun and game section. You know oh. what I mean? Where you, know you can mean? actually go on and play certain games like online beer pong. Nice, which is nice. You know what I mean? Angry viewer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> we've got PFG Radio. Now PFG Radio. This is the kicker right here. Bands that get on the pub crawl. 
You buy onto the pub crawl, you support yourselves and invest in yourselves, you support us. It's only 10 bucks a week, you get on for at least two months, you get some tunes on PFG Radio. I'll tell you, we're adding three bands by the time this show airs. There's going to be three more bands on PFG Radio. Uh, yeah, literally, that's, that's picking up nice. Uh, so, and, and mind you, you know, not to like try to encourage you or try to like, uh, you know, sway you one way or the other, but bands that get involved in this for PFG Radio, we work in radio and television. Do you know how many industry type people are at PFG, at the, at the app, checking out PFG Radio? So you never oh know who God. can see and hear about your stuff, you know what I mean? So... But I have to add, <laughs> industry people. He believes all this. Does he really? Yes. He also. Yes. He funny. He just threw a few numbers out there. He said ten dollars a week. You get on for two months. But that means he charges them ten dollars a week for two months. So for two there's months. Minimum, there's a minimum buy. It's an eighty dollar. It's eighty dollars to get on the pub crawl. This guy loves trying Scamming. to get money out. He of loves it. nickel and diamond. And people. then he tells people that they're investing in themselves because industry people. Have the PFG app Do you and know are listening many to industry people. Sam, put, up, put up a picture of all those industry people in that book. Okay. Do you know how many <laughs> industry people actually download the app? I want to try to figure out which uh, person is the industry. A few person. industry people went down to check out the taping. We'll just throw it up on Apple TV right now, and then there they are. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, you know what? They're right there. It's the two in the front because yeah. those are the older. Usually, older people are in charge yeah, of, they're the of industry those industry people. people. So it's probably the gray-haired uh, women sitting down in the front. With All a free right. appetizer. We have one more clip. Scorch brings on a wrestling historian, oh and they promote their revolutionary new concept. This is big for PFG. This is it. The last one for today. Scorch and PFG TV. Now, we were talking about Shelly the outdoor Goldberg. thing, and we're going to jump right into it. Okay. Uh, Michael's Pub, just like Auburn Pitts, because we're going to do it both places. Right. Uh, myself and Sheldon, or let's do it this way, Sheldon and me, because he's actually a bigger port <laughs> part portion of this, uh, we came up with this concept, and don't try to steal it now, because it's trademarked. Uh, I spent the money to do that. I ain't a fool. He's lying. Uh, no, he we're did. doing a he thing that we're calling Bar Wars. You know what I mean? And we're going to do a brand new concept. Lucas we're going to bring like with that. literally four bout wrestling matches to bars. And we're going to have a, a, like a wrestling match and a drink special and a bar special, a food special. And we're going to bring... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Bar Wars. <laughs> yeah. You and I teamed up here, you know? No so question. It's going to be long overdue for one. Yep. What? What? Uh, what, what? <laughs> He's having some wrestlers wrestle in a bar and combining it with drink specials <laughs> to create <laughs> bar wars. Bar wars. Uh, there's already a bar wars? Yeah, it's not his bar wars. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, but he wars. trademarked it. He paid for it. But wait, somebody else has yeah, bar wars. Yeah, but this wars. website has obviously been here since 1996. Wait a minute. That's yeah. his bar wars LLC. <laughs> Oh boy. That means there has to be paperwork. Is, it's a corporation. Yeah. Oh shit. This website hey, is frames, bitch. I already got that. Wait a minute. Uh, I we, did trademark. Unfortunately, we got to cut this off cuz uh, we got the mob oh, watch coming. Oh yeah. Maybe they watch PFG well, TV. That was a terrific PFG TV. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is so goddamn too. good. Isn't it great that they're back in the in a, in a bar where they yes, should be? Yes. In the living room in the bar. A lot of people going, "Hey, uh, it Rewind, listen to the applause. It ends abruptly. Ooh. How do you get hundreds of people to stop <laughs> clapping all at once? I know, it's crazy. <laughs> hey, birds of a thunder. feather. Birds of a feather. So, all right. Yeah. We love the scorch.